In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use your multimeter to test a diode. It's a really simple process. Most multimeters have a setting for testing diodes. You'll see the diode symbol right there on the multimeter, even though we may rarely use it. That's a setting that we can use. If you remember what a diode is, it's basically a one-way valve, so to speak, for electricity. So it allows electricity to flow through it in one direction, but it blocks electrons that try to flow through it in the other direction. And if you look closely at it, this one's not a great example, but you can see that white mark on one end right there. This one here is probably a better example of a typical diode. If you look really closely, you can see the white or gray band on one end of the diode. That white band represents the negative side. It's called the cathode. So technically this is called the anode and the cathode, but it's the positive and the negative side of this diode. And so which way it's put into the circuit, the orientation of the diode determines whether current will flow through it or not. To test this, we simply set our multimeter on the correct setting here, and we bring it over and touch the negative lead onto the negative side of the diode and the positive lead onto the positive side, and we should get a reading of somewhere between a typical reading is between about 0.2 and 0.6 or 0.7 volts. Now that shows that the diode allows current to flow through it in one direction. Now we reverse the leads and touch it in the opposite direction and it should not give us any reading. It should stay, continue to say OL on the screen, which means out of limits. Now if it does that, it gives us a reading in one direction when the diode is forward biased and no reading when we reverse bias the diode. Then we have a good diode. Same thing applies to all of these diodes that I have here. No reading there. And I have a good reading there of just under 0.5 volts. This is also a diode, even though it's got a little bit different shape to it. There we go. We've just shown that all of these diodes are good. That's how you test a diode using your multimeter.